One of our viewer asked us whether he can shift domain from PCB design to physical design. So today's video is about that. To get the answer, we will try to understand very basics of PCB design, steps related to it and how it's get done. If you have related question in mind, stay tuned till the end of the video. PCB designing and VLSI designing are entirely two different aspects. PCB designing deals with the design of board on which the IC and other individual components like diode transistors are placed, whereas in VLSI components like diode FET are fabricated on same semiconductor substrate to build a functional chip. There is no logic design involved in PCB design, whereas in VLSI we basically design the logic which means we use number of transistors to implement a function like a microprocessor. What's the scope of PCB designer? A PCB designer is primarily designs and develops PCB using computer software programs. A commercial PCB design tool create layouts and 3D models of circuit boards and check whether the board is functional. We have listed few popular tools used for PCB design. Number 1. Altium designer. Number 2. Power PCB. Number 3. Orcad. 4. WG. 5. Allegro. 6. Eagle PCB or easily applicable graphical layout editor PCB. 7. KI CAD 8. Easy EDA 9. Proteus Design Suit Number 10. Solid Work PCB Number 11. Deep Dress Next comes Free PCB Software There are several good free EDA software like PCB Web Designer, Design Spark PCB, Express PCB, GEDA, Osmon PCB, Genit PCB, TinyCAD and many more and these are suitable for both DIY enthusiast and professional PCB designers. PCB designing is just not connecting components. There is more to it. Antenna designing, high voltage or current PCBs, PCB for CE certifications are quite challenging to design. PCBs can be single sided, double sided or multi layer. Some report says the world market for bare PCBs exited $60.2 billion in 2014 and is estimated to reach $79 billion by 2024. PCB design basics are very important as multiple extensive revision eventually create serious delay in completion of the project resulting in exiting timeline and increased budget. Now let's see what are the steps involved in PCB designing. In VLSI, very first step in chip fabrication is specification. In PCB design also everything starts with specification. Then comes initial drawing and through 9 steps the designer reach the final files. Let's know all these 9 steps to understand basics of PCB design. Number 1. Understanding the electrical parameter. Understanding and cross checking electrical parameters of the system before starting a PCB design is very necessary. A designer must understand few electrical parameters of the system like maximum current, voltages, signal types, capacitance lim limitations, impedance characteristic, etc. Next step is creating the schematic. Once the basic parameters are properly studied and cross-checked, then schematic is done. It's the electrical level design. Number 3 is creating PCB layout. Commercial tools like Allegro or Altium are used to develop a schematic and these tools are able to show how the board will operate and where the components should be placed to get fit into the intended device. Number 4 is designing PCB stack up. A stack up is the arrangement of layers of copper and insulators that make up a PCB before designing the final layout of the board. This is important to consider early in the PCB design stage due to impedance which refers to how much and how quickly electricity can travel down a trace. The stack up plays a role in how mechanical engineer can design and fit the PCB into the device. Fifth step is defining design rules and requirements. Design rules are dictated by standards and acceptability criteria from the IPC which is the industry standard for PCB and electronics manufacturing. Number six is placing components. Components placing is done following layout guidelines and discussing the design. Number seven, inserting drill holes. This step is driven by the components and the connection. Number eight is routing the traces. Once the components and drill holes are placed, connection is routed. Number 9 is adding labels and identifiers. In this step, labels, identifiers, markings or reference designators are added to the layout. And number 10 is generating design or layout files. This is the final step and these files contain all the information regarding printed circuit board. Once the layout files are generated, the PCB is now ready for fabrication and manufacturing.
manufacturing and assembly. Well, these are the steps involved in PCB design. PCB design involves placement of components using commercial tools, etc. Although there is no similarity between PCB design and physical design. So, if you are working in PCB design domain and have few years of industry experience, leveraging that experience in physical design domain is not possible. If you are really interested to change the domain, first read about it. There are so much free material available in internet. Read them. We have in depth series in Tech Simplified TV on physical design. Watch it. Link is provided in the description box. In addition to that, you can go for paid course where you will get a certificate at completion. That certificate will help you. If your company has both PCB design and physical design units, talk to your manager that you want to change the domain. You might get guidance from him. I have seen people changing domain from digital to analog mixed signal design and I know a person who did it in his second year of first job. He used to spend extra three hours in office every single day after 6 p.m. and used to learn AMS. It's a real example. If you are determined enough, go ahead and start your journey. Hope today's video will help you. Don't forget to add your comment. That is much for today. We will be back with another episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.